I'm Allie's Attic, where you never know what kind of surprise you'll find in my attic. I'm your host, Allie, and today my surprise is a three-piece rockabilly bluegrass band featuring Steve Jackson, Tony Love, and Riley Jackson. Um, also, hey. I think, yeah, I think I got all three of them. I'm, did I get all three of them, guys? <laughs> yeah, that's it. And awesome. we're talking to Steve and Tony today from the band Pick and Crows. That's the band I'm talking about. Um, and uh, I love your music, you guys. Just just letting you know right off the bat. <laughs> it's, just, it's just music you can really, I don't know, your toes are tapping, and I just, I just love it. So basically, um, tell me how you guys got started. Like, I mean, Tony, how old were you when you got interested in music? Me? Well, I was, uh, I was, no, you know, Tony. I was about fourteen when I, I got a <laughs> guitar, and then I, I was off and on for years, and then, uh, and then I met Steve, and I wanted to to, to play a mandolin, and uh, we just decided to uh, do a little something different with it. Okay, okay. Now, you um, you are the one that is actually. Okay, so, okay, hang on, I'm going to, I've got to get this right. You bring, like, a non-traditional sound to the traditional instrument. Um, you can do solos, like Sweet Child of Mine and Johnny Be Good, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that would be cool to hear, I'm just saying. <laughs> is, that up a, is that up on your YouTube channel? Uh, yes, ma'am, we, we're on YouTube, uh, and we're also on Reverb Nation. Okay. But is, are you, like, is there any... Uh, songs or videos of you doing Sweet Child of Mine and Johnny Be Good? Uh, yes, ma'am. There is a, a video on YouTube. Okay. Uh, just look up Pick and Crows, and we have several videos of us during our concerts. Okay. And uh, we've got a little bit of everything on there, actually. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I knew there was. I just wanted to let everybody else know. <laughs> Anyways, yes, um, because I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> that is so cool. Um, okay, so, so Steve, um, now just, you play lead guitar and lead vocals, correct? Yes, ma'am. That's it. Um, now, when did you get interested in music and decided to make a career of this? Well, my, my, my dad, you know, he, he, he played music his whole life, and he, you know, old-timey country music, you know, uh, uh, hillbilly music. And uh, so when I was about 10 or 11 uh, or so, he got me started, you know, playing a guitar then. So I've been playing ever since, never slowed down. Now, your dad um, also played with Grand Old Opry member Pam Montgomery. Well, he had an experience with her, I'll put it that way. Okay. <laughs> he never actually got to play professionally with her, but he did get to play, you know, as, as a, you know, just a jam session. With oh, okay, I get you. I get she you. I get you. The, the story was, it's uh, you know, she actually invited him to go to the to the, to the Grand Ole Opry with her, and no, he, he didn't want to go. He didn't he want. Her down. <laughs> he really. He okay. turned the family down. Yeah. Alrighty then. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, where are you guys from? We're from uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay. I love your accents. I know I have one, too. I didn't realize that I had yeah. an accent being Canadian until I started talking to all these people from the States, and they started yeah. making fun of <laughs> words, I say. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I love your accent. I, I tell everybody that I'm, I'm about as Southern as you get. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> um... Now, you have two bona fide hillbillies right here on the phone with you. Well, that is awesome. I love hillbillies, by the way. <laughs> I have some friends that are definitely hillbillies, and uh, we have our own form of hillbillies in Canada, too. And I grew up in a small country and quadding and fishing and, you know, the whole shebang, bonfires. And that's what your music kind of brings me back to. So I'm so glad you share it because, yeah, it takes me back to good old the good old days. Um so now Riley is the only member really of the of of your group that has been formally trained in music and he plays the bass, right? Yes. Okay. And how long have you guys all been together? Uh we probably as a band, as a three-piece band, we've probably been together probably four years. Four years. And me and Tony have been like working together almost six years. Okay. And Together, um, how much like 
combined musical experience. It's about 25 years, right, that you all bring to the table? Uh, well, I've, I've been playing for 30 years. I'm a little older than 20 years. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm the old man in the bunch. So. Okay. And, and so, you know, and Riley, like I said, you know, he started playing uh, in, in the hospital, the band at school when he was in fifth grade. So. Wow. Like said, it's, it, it's probably, you know, over 50 years, ain't he? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> goes, <"Sit> <laughs> <laughs> all of those combined. So where where do you guys play? Like, do you just play basically around Tennessee? Like, where do you like? Do you go on tours? Like, what what do you guys? Where do you guys play? Yeah, we, you know, we're all working for that, so we don't actually go out here and tour. But we 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 play just about every weekend, most of the time every Friday, every Saturday night. You know, and we traveled as far as uh, Chattanooga and um, what's it and Chattanooga, Nashville. But we've been to Memphis. Yet. We're working on that though. <laughs> ah, Memphis. I love Memphis. I've never been there, but I just, I want to go there so bad. <laughs> um, hey, where Elvis live. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, you gotta go see the king. Oh, you got to. I mean, you have to. If you have a chance, like, by all means, go. I mean, like I said, I've never been, but it is on my bucket list. Because, yeah, who wouldn't want to see where the king grew up? Um, now... What, like, who kind of influences you musically, like, each of you? Uh, <laughs> Good question. <laughs> like I said, we, you know, we, we do a very wide range of music. You know, I'm, I'm in a, like I said, I was raised during the 70s and 80s, you know, of my young life, and, and I'm, I'm a, I used to play heavy metal mm-hmm. music, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. I go, I go all the way from one extreme to the other. I go all the way from real hard, deep country to real hard, kid-banging, rocking up music. So, it, it, it's just, you know, I love Led Zeppelin and I love George Jones. Yeah. You know, and it's just, that, that's what influences that, you know, if we like a song and, and we can do it, and we do a good job, that's what we're going to play, no matter where it came from. That is awesome. I think we have the both, like, my range is about the same as you. I listen to everything. Um, but I was born in the 60s, like, well, late 60s, so I didn't, unfortunately, get to experience Woodstock and all that stuff. But I loved, I loved the music back then. Um, and, I mean, the rock and, you know, just the good songs and the, I don't know, the Beatles and just all of that. And, uh, yeah. but, but I love country. Like, I am a country girl. <laughs> If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna listen to either one of two. I'm gonna be listening to the '70s, or I'm gonna be listening to country. Um, there you go. So it's really cool that you love a wide range of musicians and different types of music because you can bring that to the table, and it influences your music in a way. Um, but Ali, can I say one thing though? We do. We are heavily influenced by bluegrass players of the past as well, though. Yeah. Because we, we really try to bring that, that bluegrass flair to even our rock and country, you know, genres. And that's a good we, thing. We really, uh, the, the, you know, we, we've learned, I learned a lot from, like, Bill Monroe and, and those people uh, watching them, listening to them. Mm-hmm. So we've really been inspired by all sorts of people. And that's awesome. Like, like I said, the more that, you know, you've been influenced by, the better you're going to sound. Um just because you're taking bits of, you know, each type of genre that you like of music and kind of mixing it in to your music. Um, and it comes out wonderful. Now, because you guys have so much... Oh, I'm losing my voice. That's not a good thing. Because you guys have so much experience and um, you've been in the business for um, quite a few years, if there was a new artist just starting out, and you guys can answer this each separately, what kind of advice would you give them to kind of get them going and keep them going? Well, don't take no for an answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be told no a lot. You're going to be told you can't do it or whatever. Don't let, you know, don't let any negative thoughts get in your way. That's great advice. And, 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 you know, and, and don't, don't wear your feelings on your shoulder. You know, it, if, you, if you can get somebody to uh, take you under the ring and they say, hey, you know, you need some voice lessons or, hey, you know, you need to practice your guitar more, then you listen to them. You know, don't wear your feelings on your sleeve. A lot of, a lot of musicians, they, 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 they believe they're already the best in the world and they get to wear their feelings on their sleeve and, 
and they get hurt, you know, and then, then they, you're not going to make it. So yeah. if somebody gives you advice, just, you know, take it, take it with love, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that all? Is that it, it for both of you? But the, the biggest thing, you know, is, 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 is to set a goal in your mind and visualize it. You know, you're talking about what, uh, you know, what might be some of our dreams. And one of my dreams is to play the Grand Ole Opry one day. We've never done it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's and so, so we, we, you know, we, we, uh, we've loaded pictures of the Grand Ole Opry on our phones for our background. And, you know, and every day we look at that and we say, well, that's our goal, you know. And we're not going to stop till we get there. So, oh, my God. And, that... and another, Go ahead. Another dream of is, I'm sorry, but another dream of ours is to uh, is tour maybe Manitoba one day. <laughs> you can see us in person. Yeah. <laughs> that way, I would be there. I would. That would be so awesome. Oh my god, I have a lot of people that I know would be there. Trust me, <laughs> you'd have a full house. Um, I like that you do that with your phones and a picture of the Grand Old Opry. Um, I have little stickies all over my wall that say stuff like, you are beautiful, you are strong, never settle, you will win, you'll succeed, believe in your dreams, you know, make every day work and never give up. And, you know, um, I think it's awesome that you do that. And I think that is, you know what, I've never, ever had one of the artists I've had on here ever say that. Ever say that. And I think that's one of the best pieces of it. As I mean, a, we, you know, we, even, we even like to go into so much detail. As that me and Tony will sit and we'll talk about what kind of clothes we're going to be wearing, where we're going to be standing, and which song we're going to be you know, singing when we get there. Oh, my we God. Just, that's just, we, have, we have pictures on our phones of the Grand Ole Opry to remind us constantly of what our goal is. That is so cool. That is such that is such good advice, you guys. That is just such good advice. Because if you listen to inspirational speakers, they tell you to do stuff like that. So that you don't lose sight of your goal and you're constantly working towards it. So I think, oh my God, that is such good advice, you guys. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I liked that. Um, now, what two songs are we going to hear from you? I'm sorry, but I didn't understand what you said. Oh, I'm sorry. What two songs are we going to hear from you guys today? Okay. Well, they're actually the two that only I can get compressed to an MP3. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, sweet, sweet, Sweet Summertime and Blame It All in the Country. Like, two good ones. Oh, actually, it's Sweet, Sweet Summertime and God's Forsaken Land is what you sent me. Oh, God's Forsaken Land? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, uh... <laughs> I, I knew it was one of those. <laughs> That's okay. No worries. No worries. I was, I'll correct you. <laughs> now, um, you can buy your music pretty much anywhere online, correct? Yes, ma'am. Uh, through uh, Amazon mm-hmm. is one. And uh, through Reverb Records, uh, Reverb Nation side. Okay. Okay. And also your website, um, which is pickingcrows.com. I, it will be up on my website, so people can click on it and link right to your website and learn more about you guys. Um, okay. And get to listen to, you know, some of your songs. And I encourage everybody, go and watch these guys on their YouTube channel. Um, watching them in concert, the energy, and, like, even when they do the covers, it'll just blow you away. They're just, they're amazing. They're, I think they're amazing. And I'm so glad that you guys are, that came on my show. Thank you. Um, I wish Great. you the best success in the world. I hope you, you know, I hope one day I'm watching you up on that Grand old Opry stage. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm yeah. Awesome. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you for coming on my, my show. And um, this isn't a one-shot deal. If you have any new songs that come out and you want to, you know, want me to throw them up on my website and help promote them, you know how to get a hold of me. If you, um, another, another CD right now, okay. and it'll be out probably the next few months, and we'll give you a holler. Well, and if you want to come back on and talk about that as well, you can. Um, I also have a show on Wednesdays, um, it's called Allie's Artisan Alcove where I've had um, artists that have been on my show come back and perform live. Um, well, not live. Wow. It's not live. Cool. It's pre-recorded, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um, and it's yeah. four songs they play, and then I put that up on the website as well. So that's also available to you guys if you ever decide. So once again, um, Steve and Tony, thank you for taking time out of your day. Say hi to Riley for me, and um, okay. I hope to hear from hey, you guys. Well. Yeah, hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining me on Allie's Attic. Keep checking my website because you never know what kind of surprises you'll find in my attic. Cheers.